What's going on guys? So today we got a deadlift day. I'm gonna go into depth on how I do my deadlifts. Also followed by a deadlift PR today. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully get it. I'm gonna try and hit 455 for a single uh, sumo deadlift. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna have a quick pre-workout meal. I'll show you what I got. It's got chicken and broccoli and rice. It's a total bro meal, but yeah, I'll catch you guys at the gym. Well, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my weight so far. Currently I am bulking and I am 167.7 minus camera. So I'd say about like 166 and yeah. What's up guys? Hope everyone's day is going awesome. So I just wanted to get into my workout here. Um, first thing I do Start off with rolling out my erectors, my lower back, get it nice and adjusted before I go and do my sumos. Then I do a nice couple groin stretches, about 30 second pause on both of these. Then after that I kind of do like a double V I call it. And I hold that nice and tight for about 30 seconds and then I get going get going on my deadlift um, so I apologize for the shaky camera um, I'm gonna deadlift in a different area next time but to start off I always start off with a plate and I rep that out maybe like six seven times get nice and warmed up then I just adjust to two plates so I go to 225 and and rep that out for maybe like five, six reps. And then after that, I go up to 315. I normally just do about two reps because today I was supposed to do one rep max, but I didn't get there. Um, it was just a hard day. Uh, couldn't really lift more than 405 today. I was supposed to hit 455, but you know some days aren't the best. Maybe next week I'll try again and hopefully get it. Well, I shouldn't say hopefully. I'm going to get it because it's lightweight, baby. So then I go down to my working weight, which was 315 today. And I hit a 4x10 for that. Or no, 4x8, sorry. Um, it was pretty difficult. I went up a decent amount of weight this month in my training cycle. I think I was close to... 50 pounds, I'd like to say, that I went up. It was just getting too easy, so up there. Um, you'll see me doing pause uh, deadlift with, I think I did 275 for it, um, with a three second pause, I like to say. Um, and I did three by five on that, you'll see here shortly. And then also, after that, I went over and I did some curls for the girls. And that's all. I'll leave the full workout down below. So I just also wanted to add a couple key deadlift tips that I love and have helped me a ton that I never really realized till you know, through all the years of practice. So tip number one is pulling slack out of the bar and basically how you do that is you just pull tight on the bar activate your lats squeeze it tight and give it a quick not really a yank but just feel the tension out of the bar and then you're good for your deadlift um, tip number two would be keeping a straight bar path so to do this basically you want to base pretty much like have the bar dragging up your knees and it will keep your body in a straight path and you'll have a lot better success on your deadlift and of course that's why most people wear long socks and then I also wear my knee sleeves just below my knee and that way I never cut up my shins or anything and it helps a ton What's up guys? So I just hit my pull day. I had a one rep max and I was trying to hit 455 today. 
but I failed. Um, I guess I'll just have to try next month. Um, sometimes you fail, sometimes you make it. It's all a part of, part of the process, you know. Um, I'm gonna go home, make some food, and do a voiceover on the video. All right. One other thing I wanted to touch a quick subject on um, is filming yourself. You know, at first it's definitely difficult. Um, you know, people will judge you and look at you funny. Like today in the gym, there's a lot of people like staring, but you know, you just gotta ignore it and do what you gotta do. There's really not much to it. Um, I literally live for like that feeling of that risk and kind of going out of my comfort zone. That's just something I like to prove on, that I like to improve on every day. But yeah, just wanna let you guys know, don't let anyone stop you from doing what you love to do. What's up? So that's gonna end my video for today. I'm just over here chilling with the kitty. Um, yeah, I think maybe in my next video I'll try like a 10,000 calorie challenge, something like that. Maybe eat a lot of food. I don't know yet, but I'll figure something out. Hopefully, uh, start getting my YouTube grind going, and yeah.